Hello everyone, it's Andrea here. Today I'm up with a card and I do a resist, stamp and resist technique. And uh, here you can see me using this uh, beautiful stamp from Stamp Anon Stampus Anonymous, I think it is, yeah. I showed it at the beginning, didn't I? So, and um, for the Resist technique, you emboss, heat emboss it with a clear or a white embossing powder. That doesn't matter. But the lines definitely avoid to taking the, the color on. And um, I what I use here is the Distress Markers from Tim Holtz. And uh, I don't know, I discovered that at some in, in holidays actually, yeah. And I only had my distress markers with me, and I wanted to do something else. And uh, instead of coloring something, and I used my uh, water spray bottle, bottle, and it reacted quite nice. Why shouldn't it? All the other stuff, distress stuff, reacts with water really good. So um, here I pre or stamped the uh, part of the wings, and. You can see later what I wanted to do, but it didn't work for me, so I changed that, but you will see later. So for um, this, I use uh, three or four different green shades, and I always start with the lighter ones. I scribble it down and then spray water over it. What you can... Uh, take control of is the amount of water of course if you want to have uh, bigger puddles you use more water or less important is that you don't scribble it down or don't press the markers too much or too hard down then you will see the 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 brush strokes are very visible so lightly over it it works best with with uh, fresh ones of course I must admit that so but very lightly, don't press too hard and uh, then choose the amount of water you want to have over it. Of course, when you have little puddles, the water color effect will be uh, distinctive because um, of the different shading in this puddle. And that's the next one. Uh, that's a bit dark, darker one. And this technique works best with darker colors. I've done, and you will see that at the end, I took some pictures of the other one I've done, um, some with lighter colors, and um, with the lighter colors, it's not very visible, the, the, the stamp motif behind it. So work your way from the lightest to the darkest. You can always correct it with the darker colors. So on here, I wanted to have, I wanted to cut, fuzzy cut this, this wings out. And uh, I want only to put a bit of color on it. And I used this blue and dried it and fussy cut it afterwards. But I didn't like it. It looked so, so nothing it somehow. And um, you can see me. It And what it did, it covered this nice pattern on the wing. So what I thought... I would do is um, using the other side with the only the outlined wings and try to do it in the same way I thought fussy cut it and but I changed luckily I changed my mind you will see that later I do the same as I've done on the main um, watercolor paper so and I use here a darker one for the outline of the wings to have that a bit shaded, a bit more visible and um, it came out quite nice so when I finished that I luckily didn't fuzzy cut it from the beginning or from the start so I cut it out um, like this as you can see and then I thought and I thought and I thought and I thought no and um, you see I wanted to, wanted to start but luckily I didn't so I um, cut it the edges straight and leave it like that 
and here I distress the edges of that piece and I use the darker when the spice marmalade to go around the edges to define them a bit more but not very hard pressing because I didn't want to have the edges very very solid with this um, ink so and then I thought it would be a nice idea to use um, 3D foam pads. First I distress the, uh, the card, the, the lower layer. Do the same with the distress marker, as you can see. And uh, I put that down, I glued that down first with uh, 3D foam tape. And my tape is really rubbish, so I have to glue it down Otherwise, after a while, it will come up. So that's what I do. And even then on top, when I uh, lose that, uh, when I put that paper away, I put some glue on. And another thing for me important is to check if I really have the card base in the right way. I'm quite good to with, with gluing it um, head down, so I always have to check that. And um, now I do the same with the um, part of the wings and uh, glue it down with the 3D foam pads to give it more dimension. And yeah, that's good. Came, it, it came out really good. So, and um, at the end, you will some, see some pictures of that card, of course, and some others. I've done several. It's the other one, very simple nothing fancy, you will see that, and I think it's a fantastic way to have a quick card and um, very effective. So, thank you for watching guys, we'll see you hopefully next time. Bye bye!